Vulcan Centaur production begins with aluminum sheets expertly machined to remove more than two-thirds of the weight, resulting in the structurally strong yet lightweight orthogrid panels that form Vulcan's propellant tanks. Panels are then bump pressed to form the curves required to complete the tanks. At the same time, rings, adapters, and other structural components are precision milled. Next, the aluminum domes, panels, and other structures that form Vulcan Centaur's propellant tanks are first cleaned and etched to a smooth, even surface, and finally anodized to harden and prevent corrosion. Following X-ray inspection, five completed panels for the liquid natural gas tank are assembled and joined together using friction stir welding. Unlike traditional welding, where filler material is used to join components, friction stir welding uses a head to stir the metal of the two panels together as it moves down the seam. The resulting joint is stronger and produces a lighter weight, higher performing tank. The process is repeated to create the liquid oxygen tank. Circumferential friction stir welding is then used to join the two propellant tanks that comprise the Vulcan Centaur booster. As production continues on the booster stage, stretch-forming gore panels for the Centaur second-stage propellant tanks is underway. The stainless steel gore panels are then welded together to create the propellant tank domes. The gore welder is one of several highly specialized welding stations in the Centaur production process. Meanwhile, at Cape Canaveral Space Launch Complex 41, Vulcan Centaur's mobile launch platform has been constructed and the water suppression system has been upgraded, along with other modifications ahead of Vulcan's 2021 liftoff.